Hey guys, what's up? Abomination9 here, and today we are going to be playing Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2. I don't know which one it actually is. Uh, on the Nintendo Switch, which I played this demo like uh, a couple times. I just want to actually do a video on it so I can delete it off of my um, Switch so I can make more room for whatever. Which I don't remember it taking this long to load, but... So be it. But yeah, I've played it a few times. The graphics are already pretty nice, though. The frame rate is, suffers for them being nice. Also, also, obviously, this game is completely in Japanese. It hasn't come to the West yet, so the demo, of course, is in Japanese as well. And I forgot how to play, kind of. But, first off, in the demo, I think you want to make your way down to... Of course, I don't know what this says. Blah, blah, blah. And make your way down to this crystal, I guess. And this is going to give you like a tutorial or something, or it explains what this crystal is. Again, again, I don't know what it says. It, the first word is field, that's all I'm going to even try to make out. And it says press the A button for something. Press the A button to collect it. So I think I'm going to try and get through this as fast as possible. Yeah, the graphics are really nice, and they're very sharp. The textures look really sharp from a distance. I don't think they're... They're probably not that great if you really look at them, but from a distance, everything looks sharp. It looks like this could, like, be, like, close to being PS4, but obviously it's nowhere near. It just, at a glance, it looks like, oh, what the heck? This looks pretty good. Of course, we're not in any, any combat. Actually, I forgot... Can't you run? Yeah, you can. There we go. Whoops, I was wasting time there. But I think what we need to do first is come over here and then f help rescue this guy by the flag. So this is a Muso game, I think they're called. Your, um... Your, uh... Warriors type game, so... Uh, if you know Hyrule Warriors or even the new Fire Emblem Heroes or Warriors game. So that's pretty much what you're signing up for. Also, again, I forgot how to play. So it's pretty much just spam buttons and kill everything in sight. And you have uh, mana, which you use on the special powers, which I'm not going to waste on these weird bird monkey peasants. I don't even know what they are. Like... Actually, they kind of like ducks, possibly. Maybe they're ducks? Character something. Uh, action. I guess it's talking about going into combat. I'm not gonna sit here and try to make out like a couple words out of like these sentences. So I think we just have to kill all these guys. Oh, there's still one more monkey bird thing running around over there. Come on, kill it. Okay, it's dead. Cool. This guy's alright. He says, thank you very much. Now, the hard part is this guy over here. This golem is gonna animate himself. I think we probably wanna kill these slime guys? I think these jellies wake up. And his name is literally Golem. That's what those letters say. So he's on me, which is why I'm not fighting him. So he ends up doing a lot of damage to the character that I'm playing, so I need to not get hit by him. Cause I don't- you might not even supposed to be fighting this guy, see look he just one shot her. I can pick her up if I- yeah, if I do this. I kinda need to switch to- oh yeah, I forgot you can, um... Dash. Like this. This guy doesn't use mana. All his abilities he can just uh, use for free. So basically, what you do for abilities is you hold R, and then it brings up this list, which I think is very cumbersome, so I don't know why it's like this, but. 
<laughs> we almost got this guy beaten. Looks like they leveled up, I believe. That's what that said. Pink and purple. I don't know their names. I actually guess I do, because it's readable. Uh, pink hair's name is Tarisha. And purple hair guy's name is Raizuru? I think that's what that says. Raizuru? Uh, the little girl's name is Marybell, and my name is Lion. I keep forgetting, Dash. Like, I haven't played this in forever. Did we just kill him? Looks like he just died. Yep, level up, it says. See, I think like these graphics are really good on the Switch, but the, the frame rate does dip below 30 sometimes. I don't believe there's anything down there, that's just a dead end. But, after killing the golem, I think we take a left here. Also, run, please. There's another boss over here. This guy right here, this weirdo. And this is like an encounter. See, it actually goes into its own like boss arena. And I don't think this guy is as hard as the golem. Like he won't actually uh, one-shot you like the golem does. Oh crud, he moved that away. Let's actually switch back to Mary. We can use her abilities now. I think some of them she can charge. Yeah, this one she can charge up two levels. Okay, I completely missed that. She's out of mana though, so let's switch over to... Again, this guy's name is weird. Raizeru. Like, zzz. Lazeru, maybe? I don't know. This guy's name's weird. Like, it's not normal. Oh, I didn't realize that was him. I haven't used this guy enough to know all his moves. Because I haven't seen that ice one before. Okay, he's at MP. That we can use, um... Tarisha. Let's just call her Tarisha. Does that actually give her defense? Because when she... Used it, it sounded like she said defense up. So that's pretty much just what it is, Muso. Just a lot of flashing lights and particle effects all over the place as you're doing crazy moves. I think it's a bit... I know it's kind of cool, these boss fights. I don't know if all of them are like this. With these kind of special moves. Oh, that's bad. That really hurt. Because I haven't really played any of the other Muso Warriors games, so... I'm not 100% sure on how they all play out. But this one does play out pretty cool. Also, there is this boss to fight as well, which this guy is really hard to fight. Like, you have to constantly kite this guy. And this guy... I didn't look at the other guy's name. That was my bad. This guy's name is... Don't just take your weapons out. Oh, these guys are aggroed on us. I don't want to accidentally hit the genie there. Actually, let me get someone who can fight better. Is that it? I think we're fine. So this guy's name is... Uh... Romp or Rob? I can't see what the little hyphen there is. So it's Romp of Majin. Which I don't know what Majin means, which I should know because I'm pretty sure um, it's like Majin Buu from 
DBZ. Like, it's a common word I think they use. Maybe it just means... Uh, what... What could I... What could that actually mean? I'm pretty sure someone obviously knows in the comments, if you're watching this, but... It's probably something super obvious. Did he just die? No, he's still alive. Okay, someone heal me, cool. This guy's probably the hardest fight here. Because I think you're super underleveled for the for him. Oh, come on, seriously? I, I want to switch to... Mary Bell. She has the worst dodge out of them, out of them all for some reason. I guess because that's just her th thing. She's the possibly like range DPS, so she ends up not having very good dodging because she's supposed to be in the background. Come on, get him! Can you stop running away? It's almost not even worth uh, dodging him with her because she moves almost nowhere. Like, she moves like one foot. You might as well just keep running instead of dodging. And I don't know if there's like a certain amount of items to revive people because it seems like you can just do it infinitely in this demo, but. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. Yeah, okay, there's block. She can block like this. I don't know if the other ones can block. Oh, come on, seriously? The camera is terrible. I can't get it to stay how I want it to. Because, like, it tries to hone, hone in on where you're... Um, hone in on where you're moving. Okay, now he's almost dead. So it's like whoever you're playing as uh, takes super hardcore damage, but the AI does not. He kind of has like a bad one as well, but I think it's slightly better than Mary Bell's. Because I think he's supposed to be in. Like, he's a hardcore in fighter. Dang it, he moved. Alright. Because I think I have to keep this open to actually use this move, which is why I'm saying it's kind of like cumbersome. To just have this big menu stuck up if I want to keep using that slash. Stupid genie. Okay, we got him down to half health. Okay, might be able to use this here. I think that connected? I'm not 100% sure on that. Oh, crud. Well, he's out. But I might be able to pick him up. Oh, yeah, she picked him up instantly. Actually, let's open this up while we're here. There's a bunch of little guys here, too, because I think I've gotten some unlocks. You see on the bottom left, there's a scroll there. There's a few... things you can collect here, I think, to fill that in, but... I haven't got them since we've just gone straight for the, um... Oh, she's actually alive. I thought she died. Since I just went straight for the bosses, since there's no point in dilly dadding, she just kill everything here and then that's it. Okay, my HP is okay. I just wish she would not draw aggro on me. God, like controlling the freaking camera on this is terrible.
one mana, thanks. I feel like this guy is even harder than like the final boss, just because he's probably like super over leveled. Okay, I've never done this before. I have no clue what this is, but that's cool. Hey, I, I did not tell you to switch, hello. Can I hit it again for a special? Is this a QTE? Oh, great, thanks. Oh, well he died and we leveled up. I've never uh, done that before. So I don't know how I got that off, but that was cool, I guess. And now, I think we can make our way to the final boss, I believe. So unfortunately, like, the camera's tied to... kind of tied to where you're moving, so it kind of tries to move in that direction. So, like, if I move it to the right, it's gonna try to... Say, I'm pushing it to the right, but it's slowly swerving back towards my vision, which is why... It gets weird, like, uh, when we're fighting, where I'm trying to drag it towards the enemy and walk in a certain direction, but then you get this kind of look, where the screen just is shaking all spazzingly, because I'm trying to keep the camera on him. Also, why am I not running? So we just take a left up here, we go back to the spawn area, and we should, yes, have a flag here to fight the final boss. Hi. Man, these slow times, but again, the graphics are very high, oddly. So she said, w wait, and then I didn't read the rest of that. So this fight's kind of cool because this guy's so big, and uh, this girl kind of like specializes in this, like taking out big hordes if you do this. She can, she can kind of like wipe out the entire line. Which is why I like using her. Because she has like this just mostly AoE. Also, we got a bunch of level ups there. I think we cleared out most of the peasants. Let's actually switch to someone else. Okay, that didn't hit me. Cool. Why didn't none of those hits connect? Apparently his hitbox is... Okay, his hitbox does go up there, but it wasn't hitting. Guys, what are you doing? Hello? Trisha isn't fighting for some reason. Actually, let's switch. Get some of her moves in. Okay, let's switch over to Lion, real quick, and see if we can get like a special on him, because I don't know how to get these specials going. Okay, apparently he can't do it right now. I don't know how to do them, but fine. We'll come to that later. You can also do, I think, character switch specials, where if you do this and ZL, or something like that, you can switch well, after doing a special, I think. Let me see. Can we do it now? Oh, we don't have MP? Even though he doesn't use MP, which doesn't make sense.
Get that switch. Let's charge her up, see if we can get anything off. Oh, crud, I got hit while I was doing that. Okay. You can be knocked out of that, so thankfully I was able to get that off. To clean out all these guys. We've got big level up there on Tricia and whatever that guy's name is, because it's really weird. Okay, we cleaned them, most of these peasants out. Okay, let's see if we can get a switch on him. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you switch into one of their moves. So it's a switch special. Okay, we're charging up Trisha. Now, can we use a special? No. I seriously don't know how- Oh, maybe it's that bar there. Okay, actually, I think I know how to do it. Let's actually cycle. Okay, none of them have a special meter yet. This thing's almost dead. Can I actually Dragon Ball Z charge this up? Okay, no, I can't charge it like that. So you just have to be in combat, which she's going to end up uh, dying before we actually get a special charged up. But at least we got to see one? Because I haven't even seen that before. Actually, we almost have one on her, but I still think he's gonna- Can you get out of this corner, please? I still think he's gonna die before we actually achieve one. Actually, maybe? Can we hit him a couple more times? No, what are you doing? Get back to her. There. Here we go. We're going Super Saiyan. I think I might have missed that. Yes, I'm kind of missing here. Giga Slash, apparently. But that did cut him. Alright, so that was the uh, Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2 demo, which is pretty cool. Pretty good game. Pretty cool game. Uh, I maybe would play it if it was uh, on the Switch in English, which I think they might be on Steam. But uh, I don't know if I want to really get them on Steam. So, meh. It's a, it's a cool game, I think. It's alright for a Muso game. I don't know if it's the best. It's probably one of the coolest. I don't know. I haven't really played any other ones. I always wanted to play Hyrule Warriors, and I kind of want to get Fire Emblem Warriors, though apparently the story in Fire Emblem Warriors is atrocious, so I don't even know if I want to get that anymore. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Tune into the next episode. Like, subscribe, comment if you do. See ya.